Hello and welcome to another Broken Tippet fly tying video. Today we're going to be tying the BMW, which is an awesome little micro leech pattern. You can fish these throughout the year under an indicator using the troll method and casting and retrieving. BMW stands for Brian's Marabou Wiggler. So yes, this pattern was designed by Brian Chan. The BMW comes in a variety of different colors. You can fish these in olives, blacks, marabou, gingers, and different hook sizes as well. We have a size 14 nymph hook in the vise today, but they can also be done in 12s and 16s are probably your most, uh, 12s, 14s, and 16s are your, are your standard. The thread that we're using is a UTC olive, and it's a 70 denier. And the bead that we have on the hook today is a 764th copper bead. So I'm just gonna start off by doing nice and easy thread wraps all the way throughout this fly just to get a nice base on there. And it's a very simple tie, uh, fly to tie. It only requires two pieces of material. We're gonna be using marabou and some wire. So the first thing we're gonna tie in is the marabou. And I'm just using a Nature Spirit Medium Olive. And uh, we don't need a lot, so one thing to look for is that you want nice long plumes on the marabou. And uh, maybe just over an inch will suffice. And we rip those off the stem. And we just want to make sure that all of the points are aligned. Because that is what we're going to tie in for our tail, just like that. Um, so I'm actually going to hold the tail, the tips of the marabou with my left hand as I tie this in. And just a nice easy drop on there and a few thread wraps for support. And you want the tail to be about the size of the hook shank. So now that we have some wraps on here, I can actually pull back and adjust that length. So I would say that looks pretty good right there. And then the next piece that we are going to tie in is our wire. And we are using ultra wire, size small, and this is copper. Um, kind of a rule of thumb with the wire that you want to use the same color bead. So copper wire, copper bead. Silver wire, silver bead. And the wire we're going to attach in the exact same spot. So two wraps over. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up all those marabou plumes and bring my thread underneath and do a couple wraps on the other side of the marabou. And then I'm gonna pull back on this wire, bringing it just behind the bead, which I can then come in here and tie down nicely. There. And we're just gonna bulk this up just a little bit. And then we're gonna leave our thread just behind the bead. And with these marabou plumes, we're gonna give them a twist. And this is a great body material to work with. You really get a nice natural taper because of the way the marabou fibers are and once we get rolling here you'll see that so as I'm as I'm applying the marabou I'm still kind of twisting it in my hand just a bit just to make sure those fibers don't come in undone and you can see how it's getting thicker and thicker as we approach that bead so this is looking really nice and I think that's all the room we have can I get one more in there but I don't think so so we're gonna tie that down so two thread wraps behind the bead. You know, I'm even gonna do a third one. And then I'll do a few, three, four in front. And then we can come in and snip that off. And I'm just gonna give a couple more in there. A couple more thread wraps just behind the bead to lock anything down. And you can see that natural taper there that looks uh, Looks really sharp. Okay, 
Now the level of durability, we are going to wrap this wire. And if you kind of wiggle the wire back and forth as you wrap it, you won't trap down as much of those marabou fibers as if you were just to aggressively go from one end to the other. And we're not looking for any sort of um, you know, segmentation or anything here. We, we just want nice even wraps all the way up. Again, just it adds that level of uh, durability so that will work. And we do a few behind and a couple in front. And we will helicopter this wire out of here. Come on, baby. There we go. And a few more thread wraps. And now we're going to come in with our whip finish tool and complete the fly. So a few wraps with the whip finish. And we can trim our thread. So there you have it. The BMW. This one is an olive, again, tied in a variety of different colors. It imitates, you know, it can be a dragonfly, or sorry, a damselfly nymph, a little micro leech. It's a, it's a great still water pattern, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Fish on. Thank you for watching another Broken Tippet video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like what you saw, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Fish on.